What's the story behind this one? Well, I was walking up our local ar arcade in our town and saw it in the window, £8, which I thought was a very good price. So I'm hoping that it's going to make more than £8. Well, let's hope so too. Have you ever had any biscuits in it? No, never. <laughs> Ten pound and start, then a lovely piece here. Ten, twelve, fifteen, on, I eighteen, twenty, two, twenty-two. I have. Is there five? It's twenty-two in the corner now. Come on, come on. So twenty-two pounds. Are we all done? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's not bad, I suppose. Well, no, More than what I paid for. Well, exactly. And Johnson's lowest estimate was twenty. So you're two pounds mm. over that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Difficult to please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that first sale set the bar quite high. So this result seems like a bit of a letdown. In other words, we've been spoilt. The next lot of Lindas to come up are the two Spelter figures uh, with an estimate of thirty to fifty pounds. Thirty pounds and bid me then it's thirty I have. Thirty two five oh, good, eight is bid. Thirty eight I have. Is there forty? It's forty. Forty straight in front. Where's the two? It's forty now standing and is there two? We sell at forty pounds. Smile then. There we go. That's how we like to see you. Uh oh, I think Linda's gonna be a tough one to please today. That sale price was bang in the middle of Jonty's estimate. Will she be happier, I wonder, with this next lot? The postcards she's collected for 35 years. Let's hope they reach Jonty's estimate of 30 to 40 pounds. I've been in a drawer under the bed for, like, 20 odd years. <laughs> so, I'm showing my age now. <laughs> it's probably about time to get rid of them if yes, they've been in a drawer yes, for 20 years. Yes. Start me in here, 40 pounds for these, 40, 30. <laughs> 20 in bid, and then the postcards here, 20 is bid, 22, 25, 28, 28 I have. Is there 30? It's 28 at the moment, and where's the 30? We'll sell it, 28. No, so, so, before you unsold for that one. Well, the auctioneer obviously didn't think 28 pounds was enough for those postcards. And who knows, maybe Linda will now do something with them after all these years. Her next lot is one of her star items, that diamond ring, which has the new estimate of 400 to 500 pounds. And I start straight in here, just at 300, it's 300 I have, where's a 20? It's a lovely ring here at 300 pounds, now where's a 20? 320, 340, 340 I have, is there 60? It's 340, 360, 380, 400, 400 with Sharon, and where's a 20? So away for 400 pounds. Now, what a turn up. Hey. So we got there. Yeah, Good news all round. More money for the furniture. <laughs> well, Linda is obviously delighted with that sale, which just reached our new estimate. Now, what will the bidders make of her next lot, that old meat cupboard? I bought it at a car boot, very cheaply. It's seen a bit of action as well, hasn't it? Yeah, it's the dog's been clawing at it by the looks of it on the door, trying <laughs> to get to the meat. So how much do you pay for it? Uh, eight pounds. I put 30 to 40 pounds. Mm -hmm. Let's see who's nearest. It's going to go for over 100, I think. Really? Hopefully. <laughs> you lost your marbles. <laughs> Rating at 25 pounds, it's 25 I have. Where's Jake? 28, 30, 2, 5, 8, 38 wow. I have. Is there 40? 40 bid. Are you two? It's 40 now in the gallery. Where's the two? We sell at 40 pounds. That's, That's a good yeah, carpet brilliant. investment. Yeah, that was one. Well, I've got an eye. An eye. They, call me, they call me the carpet queen. No, do they? Yeah. Now you tell us. Well, Linda certainly made a good profit on that cupboard, reaching the top of the estimate. No problem. The next five lots are those impressive London street signs. On the advice of the auction house, these signs are being sold separately. Have you got a reserve on any of them? I think a, a discretionary one of 40, I think. Okay. Yeah, and some of them are in better condition than others, mm -hmm. so it depends on if anybody lives on that street. Hopefully mm -hmm. they'll go. But when the first sign, Cloak Lane, near London's Cannon Street in the city, goes before the bidders... Unfortunately, that one's unsold. I wonder if Linda is regretting putting that reserve on. Houndsditch, near Liverpool Street, is up next. 55 we have. Where's the 60? We'll sell her at £55. Five. That one went, yeah. That's good. What was yeah, that called? I don't quite understand why the first one didn't go and that one did. One was better quality. Uh, one had, the first one had a lot more wear. Mm. This one was really crisp and clean. The next one is St Bride Street, just off Fleet Street. Its condition is quite good, so we're hopeful it'll sell. So at 48. Well done. 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 Well done.
couldn't resist it, and thankfully, neither could that bidder. The fourth one for Moor Lane, near Moorgate, is another that looks in good shape, so it should be snapped up. Sell away at £55. £55. Well, well, as far as I recall, there aren't many moors in Norfolk, but who knows? We're all just delighted it was another good sale. Well, the final London street sign is for Whitefriars Street, near, would you believe it, Blackfriars. It's not in the best of condition, but we all live in hope. 20th bid, 22. Unfortunately, we can't sell that one. Everyone's won, really, haven't they? Because you've sold some and you get to keep some. Yes, mm. put them up somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere. <laughs> put them in that drawer where you kept the cards for 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> Considering two of them didn't sell, that seems like a fair price. And I don't think Linda is too disappointed. Now then, she has two more lots to go. The penultimate one is the pine kitchen table, which she bought from the previous owners of her house. It has a price in the catalogue of 30 to 40 pounds. I'm going to start straight in at 30 pounds. It's 30. I have a lovely pine table here at 30 pounds. 32, 35, 38, 40, 42, 45, 48, 50, 5, 60. Five. Oh. 65 I have. 65. Is there 70? Sell at 65 pounds. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? Yeah, I, mean, I can't believe it. 65. Have you got another table in its place? I have. Oh, I've got a, a bigger one, oh. actually. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. Show off. <laughs> Dinner parties just won't be the same again round at Linda's. And now we've come to that really quite unique item that she had in her lounge. Everyone's got one, haven't they? The water meter. Now then, John T, the million dollar question, are we in hot water with this next lot? Well, it's a rare item, uh, might be a tricky item to sell because it's such an unusual thing to, to have in an auction sale. I mean, it's a lot of money, 400 to 600 pounds. For a water meter? For a water meter, yes. I start in here at 400, it's 400 I have, where's the 20? Oh. The barograph here at 400 pounds, 420, 440, 460, 480, 500, 520, 520, still with me. Is there 40? It's 520 at the moment now. And where's the 40? We'll sell away at 520 pounds. Well, I never. Oh, well, I well, never. Well, 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 how about that? Was well, she putting on a Welsh accent then? Not bad. Well, that was a great sale to end on, and I think we're all very keen to know exactly how much we've raised. You can, you can be able to cash out. Oh, really? Oh, yes, you are. It's almost double. £1,300. Really? Oh, wow! <laughs> that good? That's well great. Done. Well Thank done. you so Thank much. You. Yeah. Well, nothing to do with us. It's been good, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, it's been, been a lovely, lovely day. Thank you. With the clear-out of antiques, Linda and Daphne head into Norwich to buy furniture to revamp Linda's lounge. I'm buying the furniture in advance. Once the room is decorated, it'll be really lovely, won't it? Won't it? Yeah, lovely. She has been doing up the house for the last ten years, so you'd think it would be done by now, wouldn't you? We've done upstairs. Downstairs are still yet to be done. And the lounge is being done before Christmas. Definitely. Without fail. What a great result for Linda, and I hope she enjoys her new room. I love a satisfied customer. Now then, uh, if you want to raise some money and you think you've got the antiques hidden around your home, then why not apply to be on our programme? Just fill out a form on the website, bbc.co.uk. Good luck. We'll see you next time on Cash in the Attic. So, Andy Murray on centre court in the men's singles quarter-finals. Next on BBC One, the build-up to a big match. We're off to Wimbledon.